always like to check. Make sure we don't need to make any adjustments before it dries. acceptable all right No, that's enough water. It's too much water, actually. Okay, so uh, it's now like, I don't know, 3.30ish. Uh, I've been at this since about 10ish this morning. Uh, just kind of a slow moving project. Uh, and I got distracted by some other carpentry work. But uh, so I've got the coop framed in. Let me show you. So I've got the posts in. Uh, but anyway, so... Um, it comes down to the the floor joists now for the for the coop itself or the 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 poultry concern as i'm being told it's called um so he had it where it said something goofy like uh like 17 and uh like 16 inches four and seven eighths or something like that uh that doesn't really work well for people like me that are used to conventional construction plans writing them or otherwise uh is that it needs to be on you know you, you think of them, these things as being on center so what i did we'll flip you around here is that you see this board here is six feet long it's cut to six feet so what I, basically what i just did was is it's supposed to create four different sections here so uh, 6 times 12 is 72 divided by 4, that's 18. So each one of these floor joists needs to be 18 inches on center. So that'll help when you're hanging the, uh, when you're hanging the, the, the floor hangers on this side is that it needs to be 18 inches. Uh, the other thing is, is that he doesn't mention... Uh, he, he talks about two inch wood screws uh, into a two by six and that would work just fine 
if all lumber in the world was cut to two inches or exactly two inches but it isn't uh, this is actually conventionally purchased lumber is actually a half inch smaller so it, this is like this is supposed to be you know two inch wood would be out to here this is actually inch and a half so i ended up having to go into town again uh to get some uh to get some inch and quarter uh inch and a quarter wood screws exterior exterior wood screws uh in order to hang the floor joists so i'm going to keep working on this i'm at least going to try to get the plywood in or the osb in tonight uh i've got to get this cut off uh at this level here i think i'm gonna he in his video used the chainsaw uh i could do that or uh or i could just use a sawzall so i think i've got a sawzall that's long enough a sawzall blade that's long enough to get it so uh i'm gonna get after it for a little bit longer and then uh and then i'm gonna call it a day so i talked about concrete earlier uh i used uh i used a 60 pound bag of high strength satcrete uh you know there's there's different brands that are carried by different stores home depot carries uh carries quickcrete uh lowe's carries satcrete so you know it's they're both the same you know bag really so it's the same kind of stuff it's a quick mix uh this is, has a curing time of about 24 hours uh, i didn't buy the fast set stuff so uh yeah so i'm gonna get cracking at this and uh and i'll show you what it looks like when uh when i get done for the day so here we go Day one of uh, the major actions complete. I got it. I got it set up. I made a few errors, but yeah, you know, part of that was because my uh, my uh, saw guide my uh, saw guide wasn't set correctly. But you know, we improvised and we adapted and we overcame. So that's all we can ask for with that, really. Uh, so uh tomorrow i've got other stuff to do so uh my son's like directly behind me uh tomorrow i got other stuff to do uh tuesday um i'm gonna get started when i get home uh because i i gotta work monday uh tuesday we're gonna get the walls up the ones that we framed over the summer last summer so i'm gonna get those up uh, with help of the forklift on the tractor and uh, hopefully get the walls in and we'll be able to finish up uh, with this part of it. I've still got a little bit of landscaping to do uh, out here just to, to clear this stuff out because the run is going to go from the edge out and then around and then back. So uh, the run's going to be oriented in this direction so that'll be cool uh yeah i just got to get the landscaping done and then clear out some of these trees back a little bit more and then i'll be able to put the run in and we'll uh we'll be in business i think uh so if uh if you're a first time watcher 
that's cool uh, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah because metrics Google likes to see metrics so the more subscribers and the more views we have the uh, the more likely we are to uh, to have more so uh, and then I won't think that this entire thing is in is a futile attempt at you know whatever so all right so that's it for today I'm tired So, y'all have a good day. Make sure you subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again on Tuesday.